Are you struggling to conceive? You have options, and at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group, we'll make sure you have the guidance and support you need. Preg is known for individualized fertility care that's unique to every patient. We take the time to provide a reassuring and empowering experience because we believe that you deserve nothing less. Let us help you on your journey to parenthood. Visit us at pregonline.com to learn more. Get the guidance and support you need at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Let's go, Eddie. They're waiting for I'm us. coming, Ed. I'm coming, but I want to make sure we're not forgetting anything. You got the pickles? Yep. Yeah. The mustard? <laughs> got it. Down, Homer. Can we take Homer along? Sure, but put him in the car now. We'll never get started. Mmm, that fried chicken looks good. Hands off, Edward. <laughs> Come on, Homer. Come on. Hey, anybody see my catcher's mitt? It's where you always leave it on top of the refrigerator. And has anybody seen Grandpa? He's <laughs> usually in the refrigerator. Oh, no, here he comes now. Oh, and he's still wearing his slippers. Hey, what's all the commotion? Haven't, Haven't you heard? heard? Which includes me, Eddie Arnold. Kraft is having a family reunion. And reuniting right along, I met Hurley He. Kraft is having a family reunion. A one big happy family reunion. Folks are coming from far and near. Coming here for a great get together. Yep, Kraft is having a family reunion. And on this first Sunday in the good old summertime, we're turning it into a kind of a picnic. That we are. And wherever you are in the good old USA, whether it's near a lake in Wisconsin... Or in a pine grove in Tennessee... Or on the beach at Cape Cod... Or just in your own backyard. Oh, wherever you are, you're all invited to picnic along with us. We can't offer you anything to eat at the moment, but we can give you a sample taste of the fun and music we'll be taking along. All of it from the folks who used to entertain us on those great craft music hall radio shows. Where the blue of the night meets the gold of the day. Why? How I love you, how I love you, Ma, my dear old Swanee. This car is complete with all accessories. It has a nice bumper in front. It takes a size 34 pedestrian. Oh. <laughs> we lay in lots of land under starry skies. Don't fence me in. Can you imagine... In front of my hungry kinfolk, anybody coming and standing in the doorway and hollering, come and get it, and just stand there? As the biscuit, Mirandy. Strauss was eating cherries, and when he spit out the stones, he got the inspiration for the blue Daniel. <laughs> Cement makes a putty putty. Cement makes a putty putty. See, it makes a putty-putty. I'm a sleepy lagoon. Oh, a beautiful morning. Home. The last time I sang that note, they thought Dr. IQ had a lady in the balcony. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. Bing Crosby, Al Jolson, the Andrews sisters, Bob Burns, Durante, to name just a few. And to use Jolson's famous phrase, you ain't heard nothing yet. So everybody, fasten your seatbelts. Ready? Ready, Eddie. And start her up and we'll all meet down the road of peace after some words and music from the good folks at Kraft. Now is the time for a family reunion. Kraft will help it be a joyous reunion. So gather all the folks that you hold dear. Any reason to bring them near. Kraft will make it better than ever this year. Bringing good food and families together. Some
summertime means family reunion savings time from Kraft. What better time to plan a family outing? It's extra easy going when you pack up a picnic in Kraft's special Miracle Whip Picnic Pack. Five separate containers that do more than carry a meal. They stack, and they pack up in a handy, insulated drawstring bag. Look for the order form on specially marked quart jars of Miracle Whip salad dressing. Kraft, bringing good food and families together. Eddie Arnold again with Ed Hurley as we move merrily along towards the picnic grounds for our Kraft family reunion. And we have good reasons to be merry, don't we, Ed? That's right. Lots of good food. I knew you'd say that, Ed. <laughs> good company. That's the spirit, Grandma. Good grief. I'm still wearing my slippers. Don't worry about it, Grandpa. But there's still something else. Good weather? Good girl. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got a beautiful Cincinnati, of course, one of the hosts of the Kraft Music Hall. Ah, uh, I remember when he sang with Jeanette McDonald. I'll be calling you. <laughs> Edward, Edward, please, you're scaring the horses. What horses? Well, you remember that other music hall host who was much involved with horses? You mean right, Mr. Crosby? He's over there somewhere saddling up to ride with the Andrews sisters. Let me wander over yonder Till I see those mountains rise ba boom ba 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 I want to ride to the ridge Where the west commences And gaze at the moon Till I lose my senses And I can't look at hobbles And I can't stand fences Don't fence me No Being in the Andrews Sisters weren't the only ones interested in wide open spaces, Eddie. Remember the guest who wore a ten-gallon beret, Charles Boyer? Could I ever forget him? Oh, give me a hole. Well, is Buffalo Road. <laughs> well, is deer and Liz antelope jouet. <laughs> well, seldom is heard. Un discouraging mo. Alice Pies, n'est-ce pas, Blaudé, toujours. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> Believe it or not, that really was Charles Boyer, the great French lover riding the music hall range back in the 40s. A brave performance, wouldn't you say, Ed? He should have gotten a croix de guerre for it, Eddie. Ooh. But brave as he was, I don't know if he'd have been brave enough to attend one of those family get-togethers Bob Burns used to have with his <laughs> kinfolk. My folks before dinner, my folks just kind of mill around out in the front yard. And they jockey for position. <laughs> and when they holler, come and get it, and everybody, after all the women and children are safely seated. <laughs> then, and not until then, they unleash my cousin Glut. <laughs> uh, 
That's, that's my eating tub. <laughs> Of course, now, it's uh, different down at, uh, at Aunt Boo's house, at Uncle Uni and Aunt Boo's house. They don't start right into eating and grab it. Uh, there, I'm proud to say, nobody starts eating until Uncle Uni says grace. I can just see Uncle Uni sitting there now at the head of the table with his head bowed and one hand over the butter. <laughs> Well, you should see, honestly, I'll never forget if I live a thousand years. The day my cousin Walford was sitting there, he's the greatest man with his knife I ever saw in my life. And he'd dip into the red slaw. And he, well, I'm telling you, he was handling that knife there like a one-armed xylophone player that's four bars behind. <laughs> And then he'd dip into the cranberry sauce. And uh, while that tablecloth had so many red marks on it, it honestly, it was a mess in technicolor. <laughs> and, and finally, Aunt Boo, she was just mortified to death. She told him, she says, Walford, how many times have I told you never to dip into the cranberry sauce without first licking off your knife? <laughs> <laughs> my, my, some pretty fierce forging went on there. I hope our own little family group doesn't get any ideas from Cousin Glut and Cousin Wolford. No, I wouldn't worry too much about that, Eddie. we got plenty of food to go around. Well, I hope that includes enough to satisfy Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. I want some black-eyed peas, I want some mustard greens, I want some corn pone on the side. I want my chicken fried with a golden hide. San Antonio, now don't you say I'm silly, cause I like my chili all over my scrambled eggs. I want to go to Dallas, see my cousin Alice. Ah, San Antonio, I never was meant for the city, and I don't like it one little bit. I know a place that's family by the Rio Grande, just across from Mexico. I want an enchilada and a big toast to me this place is strange I'll take you to the range Where the blue, blue bonnets grow Give me a gal that's true Give me a buckaroo San Antonio. Is that where we're going? Oh, we're going everywhere, Grandma. Everywhere our craft family reunion's being held. I'm hungry. When do we eat? You're always hungry. <laughs> oh, sounds like Homer's hungry, too. Well, everybody simmer down now. We're just about there. As a matter of fact, here we are. <laughs> Great. And while you folks unload the car, I've got a bit of information to pass along to our listening friends in just a moment. Now is the time for a family reunion. Craft will help it be a joyous reunion. So gather all the folks that you hold dear. Any reason to bring them near. Craft will make it better than ever this year. Bringing good food and families together. You can tell the taste of summer is upon us when produce departments brim with fresh vegetables and greens and salad days are back. Summer means family reunion savings time, too, because today Kraft is running a coupon in many newspapers featuring 10 cents off on Kraft French dressing. So gather the family round a big bowl of fresh, crisp greens topped with Kraft French dressing and enjoy special savings. Kraft, bringing good food and families together. Eddie Arnold here with Ed Hurley, and we're at the Kraft Family Reunion. Wow, look at all the people. And there's the baseball game over there. Where's my glove? Uh-uh, you come back here, we haven't finished unpacking yet. That's right, see if you can find a place to put our food. And the tablecloth. Yeah, how about over there under that big tree? Good idea, Grandpa. You're in charge. Well, come on, kids. Well, while they get things sorted out, Edward, you and I can kind of get together here and have a few quiet moments. Yeah, these family get-togethers do get a bit hectic, but they're such fun. There's that nice, friendly feeling to them. 
That's the way it's always been since Mr. J.L. Kraft started up the whole shebang. And that's the way it was on the old Kraft Music Hall radio shows. K K K K K E double L Y. I am C R Osby One. He sings high, we sing and we dance and entertain the people. I love life. I want to live. K K K K K A double L Y A C R O S B Y With the guys, if you're wise, you'll surprise with a date or two, and now he'll dance for you. Hey, you humming? What do you do? His laundry. And now the left foot. See what I mean? Later on, this boy grew up to be George Murphy. <laughs> We're a cinch in a pinch. For a pinch does a song or two. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, my. Beautiful. But Bing didn't have a monopoly on friendliness at the music hall. Al Jolson could dish it out, too. Put your arms around me, Dinah. Hmm. Hold me tight. All right. Huddle up and cuddle up with all your might. Oh, Dinah. When you roll them eyes, all oh, you here. got the eyes, the eyes, the eyes that I idolize. Now when they look at me, my heart begins to float. Then it starts a rocking like a motorboat. No, I never knew anyone like you. Dinah Shore. And she sounds just the same today. Another always young lady, a regular member of the Kraft family in those days, was Mary Martin. And she and Bing once had themselves a fine old time breaking up over a fine old song. Oh, Rose O'Day. Oh, Rose O'Day. My little Rosie O'Day. Oh, Rosie O'Day. You're my filigadoosha. Generation. Ball the roll the boom. Boom to the A. Rose O'Day. My Rose O'Day. My little Rosie O'Day. From the Isle of Capri. You're my filigadoosha. Generous. Balderalda boom. Boom to the end. You're daring, you're darling, and I'm lost. <laughs> Is that what you mean when you say... That I do, that I do. <laughs> Rose O'Day. Oh, Rose O'Day. A little Rosie O'Day. Oh, Rose O'Day. You're my filigadoosha. Generous. Balderalda boom to the Boom to the Boom to the Boom to the <laughs> I didn't think Mary would get through it. But the laughs weren't all accidental. Not when someone like Jimmy Durante was around. When you sing, the song has got to come from the heart. Now take Caruso. What made him the singer of the age? His voice. That helped. <laughs> but it was really his heart. Now take Melicure. What puts him over on the stage? His voice. You're fighting me. <laughs> it's the heart that makes them all. It's the difference between the big and the small. Oh. The last time I sang that note, they taught Dr. IQ had a lady in the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be witty or smart, just as long as it comes from the heart. It doesn't have to be classic or rock, just as long as it comes from the heart. You know, Al, last year the kids at school asked me to sing at their graduation exercises. Yeah? But I made a horrible mistake. I didn't sing from the heart. I sang from the nose. How did it sound? I don't know. The note hasn't come out yet. <laughs> to illustrate my point, I'll continue further. Oh, Chichonia. Naughty Chornia, Ochi Guccia, Ochi Gaccia, Epi 
Krasnia. I be Krasnia. Kaka blue bus. Kaka blue bus. Yeah, cocky bluey bus. Is uh, is that from the heart? No, that's from the stomach. <laughs> hey, I think I get the message. Let me take a crack at that song of yours. Chidi bi, chidi bi, chidi bi, chidi bi, chidi bi. Ya ya ya. Chidi bi, chidi bi, chidi bi, chidi bi, chidi bi. This boy is mighty. Ya ya ya. Great. I'll give him that. I'll give him this. I'll strut away. Al, you can't miss. Just put a star on my car. Because a song comes from the heart. Yes, on opening night, your name in light. Why, we won't stop till we reach the heights. Yes, we'll order our meals out of car. It depends on your name. If the song comes from the heart, we'll be tremendous. If the song comes from the heart, they'll hold up rainbow with the song. that Mr. Durante sang at the school turn out. Well, we don't know. It still hadn't come out. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get on over to the food. It's under that tree, just like I said. Fine. Let's go then. Come on, Grandma. I'm coming. Come on, Grandpa. Oh, don't rush me. These slippers keep falling off. Come on, Ed. I know you're hungry. <laughs> Be with you right after this word from Crab. Now is the time for a family reunion. Craft will help it be a joyous reunion. So gather all the folks that you hold dear. Any reason to bring them near. Craft will make it better than ever this year. Bringing good food and families together. Summertime is sandwich time. And what spreads better than parquet light spread from Craft? You get delicious parquet flavor with 25% less fat and calories than regular margarine. Use the 25 cent store coupon you'll find in many newspapers this week to buy the two pound reusable bowl and treat the whole family to parquet light spread. Kraft, bringing good food and families together. Well, this looks mighty fine. Nice shady spot, tablecloth all spread out. Oh, wouldn't you just know it? It's the one with the hole in it, for goodness sake. Oh, don't fret yourself. It's nice and clean, and that's what counts. Oh, yuck. Look at the ants. They're crawling all over it. Don't get excited. A picnic wouldn't be a picnic without them. Besides, how much can they eat? (laughs) But this little dive bomber, we can do without. Ants, mosquitoes, what next? <laughs> well, funny you should ask, Grandma. Next come bees. Oh, no. Where? Where? <laughs> Take it easy. They're not real ones. These bees come from one of the Kraft Music Hall shows way back in 1934. A quartet known as the Kingsmen dreamed this sound up, or I should say they hummed it up. <laughs> almost real enough to make you nervous. And there were some other unusual sounds on those shows, weren't there, Eddie? Yes, indeed. And these were really beautiful. Really something, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. The bird man was a fellow named Fred Lowry. And he could outwhistle a flock of nightingales. Then there was the sound that Bob Burns produced from his homemade, uh, uh, not musical instrument. Weapon? Right. His bazooka. Yeah. Oh, my. 
Good thing we're not in moose country. That could cause a stampede. Yeah, and so could this. A sleepy lagoon. A tropical moon. And two on an island. That's putting it over, ain't it, kid? A sleep with a goo. And two hearts in tune. In a, a some a lullaby land, <laughs> the memory of this moment of love will haunt me forever. Oh, that Crosby is a bum. <laughs> a tropical moon, a sleepy lagoon, and a you. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only Bert Lard. Just about the weirdest sound ever heard on the Kraft Music Hall, lady. Well, it could be. But for the weirdest song, how about this from the Slim Gaylard Trio? Cement makes a putsy putsy. Cement makes a putsy putsy. Cement makes a putsy putsy. I'm. Y pentre te la compampado de Y pa nosotros te lo con nambe pando la de tu vida de El pueblo centro cuenta pues andato 5071 Broadway are you struggling to conceive? You have options, and at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group, we'll make sure you have the guidance and support you need. Preg is known for individualized fertility care that's unique to every patient. We take the time to provide a reassuring and empowering experience because we believe that you deserve nothing less. Let us help you on your journey to parenthood. Visit us at pregonline.com to learn more. Get the guidance and support you need at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. <laughs> Bing Crosby O Vuti Ruti, Musundro Poin La Cassandro Cosanto, John Scott Rono Vauti, Musundro Poin La Camina Sandreto, the bonus of Kraft Cheese, and Musundro to La Caina Ponsoto, Chiros Oruti. Cement makes a fancy bunty. 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 I don't battle on it all. Oh my, was I right in? Weird. Right, weird. But very funny. Fun was always a main ingredient in any craft music hall show. Yeah, even the station breaks were fun when Ken Carpet and Bing Crosby handled them. Dr. Crosby, now that summer's here, the yes, boys... Yes, The boys over at the Rapitapa Gong House have finally put away their longies. Why? Well, you got to have short drawers for station identification. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we are again at our Kraft family reunion. Eddie Arnold and Ed Hurley. And when do we eat? I'm starving. I wouldn't mind a bite myself, but not from you, Homer. Homer's hungry, and I am too. So am I. Well, you know our motto, Kraft brings good food and families together. So let's start the bringing together right now. Pass the biscuits, Mirandy. I'm just as hungry as them. Pass the gravy, Mirandy. I need some soft to stop them in. Since nine o'clock, I've been sitting on a rock, a shooting everything in sight. I shot the boys and a dozen Barton boys. Shooting gives a man an appetite. Oh, pass the biscuits, Mirandy. 
pass them and kiss me goodbye. They're so heavy, Mirandy. I feel like I'm a gonna die. Spike Jones and his city slickers. Regulars on the old craft music hall. Where food turned up not only in song, but in comedy sketches as well. Yes, and here's a real gourmet delight, served up by Al Jolson and Groucho Marx. Years ago, I sang at a wonderful nightclub. Every night, we serve a different food. It says lavish place here, huh? Yeah, well, I cut it out. But anyway... <laughs> Every night. Why didn't you want to say lavish place, huh? Huh? Not good enough for you, lavish place, huh? Three writers slaving all week, and you cut out their words as soon as they... <laughs> I don't know what lavish means. Well, anyway... Every night we serve a different food. I don't know what it means either, but it sounds... <laughs> all right, we'll go back to it. Okay. Years ago, I sang in a very lavish place. All right? <laughs> hey, you've been in that place a long while, haven't you? <laughs> Well, every night they serve a different food and the waitresses wore costumes that went with the dinner. On the night we had roast beef, they wore English costumes. Oh, how nice. Yeah. I'm supposed to say. Flavish place. <laughs> On the night we had enchiladas, the girls wore Spanish costumes. How spicy. <laughs> well, we finally got closed up. Well, how come? <laughs> how come? <laughs> well, I gotta go back to it again. Yeah. What, on the night we had roast beef... back and work in that place again? <laughs> in the lavish place. Well, they right closed here. it up. I forgot to tell you. Let me get this, will you? Okay. On the night we had roast beef, they wore English costumes. Yeah. On the night oh, we nice. had... <laughs> You'll get the same ad lib for me no matter how many times you say. On the night we had enchiladas, the girl wore Spanish costumes. How spicy. <laughs> we finally got closed up. Well, how come? <laughs> <laughs> the chef forgot and served oysters. <laughs> well, how come? <laughs> the, the chef forgot and served raw oysters. So long. <laughs> Now, that's what I call a main course on the music hall menu. Uh, how about a side dish? I got that, too, from Nat Cole. Coleslaw? Oh, what did I do to deserve this? We have a little ditty that is really delicatessen. Solid potato salad. <laughs> you dish it out, and I'll mix in the Miracle Whip. <laughs> solid potato salad. Solid potato salad. Jack. Solid potato, solid boy. Take a plate, fill it up, and bring it right back. Solid potato, solid, and let's have no yak yak. Solid potato, solid boy. Take a plate, fill it up, and bring it right back. Take a plate, fill it up, and bring it right back. Solid potato, solid. Take a plate, fill it up, and bring it right back. Take a plate, fill it up, and bring it right back. Take a plate, fill it up, and bring it right back. No wonder they call Nat King Cole. How about it, Ed? Like that dish? Delish. All we need now is something sweet to top off our picnic meal. Well, in that case, Bing Crosby's Pennsylvania Dutch treat will do the trick. Shoe fly pie, apple pan dowdy makes your eyes bug out. Your tummy say howdy. Shoe fly pie, apple pan dowdy. I never get enough of that wonderful stuff. Shoe fly pie, apple pan dowdy makes the sun come out when the heavens are cloudy. Shoe fly pie. An apple pan dowdy, I never get enough of that wonderful stuff. Mama, when you bake, Mama, cancel my cake, Mama. For my sake, go to the oven, make up some ever-loving shoe fly pie. 
An apple pan, doubt it makes your eyes bug out. Your tummy say, howdy. Shoe fly pie, an apple pan, doubt it. I never get enough of that wonderful stuff. How about it, Edward? Got enough of that wonderful stuff? Very yummy, Eddie. But if I may quote the tender sentiments of Winston J. Manone, guest trumpeter on the music hall from down New Orleans way... Namely what? That's a plenty. Do it, Wingy. That's what I call a rouser. Yeah. Oh, I'd call it that too, Eddie. But I think there's something else that's called for now. Yeah, a little peace and quiet, that's what. Uh, I'm so poor I can't keep my eyes open. Right, Pa. A little snooze wouldn't hurt anybody. Not me. I'm going to get into that baseball game. Uh, it's too soon after eating. Oh, but... Just oh. relax for a few minutes. They'll still be playing. Well, I'm going to loosen my belt a notch and lean back against this tree. How about you, Ed? i got something to take care of for our friends at Kraft. I'll be back shortly. Now is the time for a family reunion. Kraft will help it be a joyous reunion. So gather all the folks that you own dear. Any reason to bring them near. You know, summertime is the perfect time for family reunions. And right now, Kraft is featuring special family reunion savings on some of your favorite Kraft products. For instance, welcome the taste of summer with the taste of Kraft Real Mayonnaise and save 10 cents. Just look for our store coupon in today's newspaper. And June is Cheese Month, too. What better time to treat your family to their favorite Kraft cheese products? Right now, Kraft is having a June Cheese Fest featuring special store displays. There's the cream of cheese, Philadelphia brand cream cheese, the perfect summer spread. And deluxe choice cheese slices, just right for topping grilled hamburgers. Or try Kraft Natural Swiss for family picnic sandwiches. Look for the Kraft June Cheese Fest and plan a summertime family reunion soon. Kraft. Bringing good food and families together. Well, here we are at our Kraft family reunion. I'm Eddie Arnold. And I'm Ed Hurley. 
And why are we whispering, Eddie? Because Grandpa and Grandma are catching a little shut-eye. Yeah, not anymore we are. Hey, what's going on? Well, we're getting set up for a little entertainment by Victor Borga. Piano and all. Can I go play baseball now, Ma? Well, if you want to, but Mr. Borga's very funny. I remember him from some of the old craft music hall shows. Then you'll remember this. Rossini had a friend who stuttered. It wasn't much, only when he was talking. And this starring friend gave Rossini the inspiration for the overture to Wilhelm Tell on account of his stuttering. But later on, he died. <laughs> a famous composer went to the opera to see a ballet, and one of the dancers had a terrible hiccup. It was very annoying, and the composer felt very sorry for her. So he went home and composed a little piece of music for her for the next time she had this terrible hiccup. Of course, he died too. <laughs> Liszt, Franz Liszt, was invited to a very fine party. And on his way there, he got the inspiration for the second Hungarian Rhapsody, number two. He was so excited, so he rushed to the piano and tried his composition out. But he couldn't play because all the other guests came to him to shake hands with him. He was so famous. And that's the reason why he had to compose those intermissions in the beginning of the second rhapsody. That's why it is like this. How do you do, Mr. Oh, how do you do? How do you do, Mr. Liz? Oh, how do you do? Could you let me have a thimble Friday? <laughs> Victor Borga, greatest thing from Denmark since Danish pastry. Don't tell me you're still hungry, Ed. No, no, no. Just a thought. Well, here's another thought. Have you noticed that sometimes at picnics, there are folks who just seem to drift away from the rest and disappear? Must be young couples that want to be alone, Eddie. You know, looking for romance. Well, not always. There was once a couple at a craft music hall picnic whose combined age was something like 140 years. What? Yeah, Al Jolson and that baby-faced senior citizen, Victor Moore. And what they were looking for was fish. Victor, we've been out here for two hours. How was the bait? It's delicious. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet, Victor. I think I got a bite. Boy, Ooh. I hope this is a big one. If it is, I'll have it stuffed and mounted and I'll hang it over my fireplace. Al, I don't mind your stuffing it, but don't hang it over the fireplace. Why? You've hooked the seat in my pants. <laughs> Uh-oh. The game warden. Okay, let's see your fishing licenses. Uh, here's mine. According to this, you're only 19 years old. Yeah, I guess I forgot to renew it about 80 times. <laughs> well, Al, I guess this is the end. No, it isn't, Victor. While we're out here on this beautiful lake, I think it would be nice if we sang a duet. Well, if I sing with you, Al, that really is the end. Oh, come on, Victor. <laughs> come on, Victor. Let's sing a robust campfire song like a band of husky lumberjacks. What do you say, huh? Everybody loves a baby. That's why I'm in love with you. Pretty baby. Pretty baby. And I'd like to be your sister, brother, dad, and mother, too. Pretty baby. That ain't me, folks. That's more. Pretty baby. Oh, I want a loving baby, and it might as well be you. Pretty baby of mine. Pretty baby of mine. <laughs> oh, some nice close harmony there between Jolie and old Victor Moore, Ed. Yeah, but there seems to be a lack of harmony over there on the baseball field. You're right. Sounds like Bing Crosby and George Murphy are into a bit of a rhubarb with umpire Kenny Carpenter. So this is the kind of stuff pitchers and catchers talk about, huh? Well, we have some secrets once in a while when there ain't a lot of noisy umpires sticking their nose around. Yeah, what's it to you what we talk about? Well, I'll tell you what's it to me. You know what I'm going to do with you? I can guess you're going to take me out of the ball game. Don't take him out of the box. 
I beat the White Sox and Red Sox too. But he still can't handle the Bobby Sox crew. Oh, it's Cy, Cy, Cy for Sinatra. Oh, one wants a boo boo boo. Oh, it's Haynes. A Dick Todd. Como, you're out of the old ball. Well, Bing may have been tossed out of the ball game, but he came out a winner the time he was tossed a surprise party by an old friend. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Happy birthday, Big Boy. Thank you, Bob. This, this, this is Bob. I had to go to the wax museum to find enough candles for this cake. Hope. There you are, old boy. Oh, there you are. A brilliant thing. Wait, uh, wait a minute. I have a poem. I just want to say happy birthday to you, Flab. Yes? I know the age, but I won't blab. <laughs> I just want to say happy birthday, Pop. Thank Here's you. your cake with the cheese in the middle and the Pepsi and on top. Thank you. <laughs> happy Sounds like you got a standing ovation. Well, as long as we're all on our feet, how about getting Roy Rogers back to do some of his fantastic square dance calling? Everybody grab a partner. Come on, Grandpa, Grandma, and you too, Ed. <laughs> Tuckered out. Ooh. From now on, I'm going to stick to the waltzes. <laughs> yeah, where are my slippers? I, I lost my slippers somewhere. Homer's got one, Grandpa. Here, here, Homer. Don't chew on that. Stop fussing. You can get another pair. Hey, that was better than disco dancing. <laughs> well, it sure was. But I think we ought to simmer down and cool off a bit now. I'll get us something to drink. That's a good idea. And we'll have to start thinking about packing up and heading for home. Oh. But not for a while yet. <laughs> now is the time for a family reunion. Craft will help it be a joyous reunion. So gather all the folks that you own dear. Any reason to bring them near. Craft will make it better than ever this year. Bringing good You know, July 4th is coming, and that means a backyard full of friends and family hungry for their favorite 4th of July foods, like sizzling hamburgers topped with Kraft American singles. And you'll want plenty of Cracker Barrel brand natural cheddar cheese and Squeeze-A-Snack pasteurized processed cheese spread for easy, tasty snacks. Plan to celebrate the 4th with the family and plenty of good Kraft cheese products around the picnic table. Kraft, bringing good food and families together. Well, our day at the Kraft family picnic is just about over. It's getting dark. Somebody will give me a hand. I'll start packing our things. Okay. We don't want to leave any litter around. Yeah, don't around. throw out my slippers. I'll, I'll wear them home. But you're going to get new ones tomorrow. I hate to have it all come to an end, Eddie. Oh, it's not quite over yet, Ed. Someone's bound to get out a guitar or a harmonica and give us a little nighttime music. You mean someone like Larry Adler? None other.
While Larry Adler's been serenading us with blues in the night, the moon has come up, Ed. Yeah, but according to Nat Cole, that's not the kind of moon you might be expecting. It is only a paper moon hanging over a cardboard sea. But it wouldn't be make-believe if you believe in me. It is only a canvas sky sailing over a muslin tree. But it wouldn't be make-believe if you believe in me without your love. It's a honky-tonk parade Without your love It's a melody played on a penny arcade It's a Barnum and Bailey world Just as phony as it can be But it wouldn't be make-believe If you believe in me Right you are, Edward. Well, there's no way we can end our festivities without at least some of the super four-part, uh, no, let's make that five-part harmony, that Bing Crosby and the Charioteers gave us on the old craft music hall. By the light, by the light of the silvery moon, silvery moon, I want a spoon. To my honey I'll cruise Love's to Honeymoon Honeymoon Keep a shining in June Shining in June Your silvery beams Will bring love That brings our Kraft family reunion to a close. We had a wonderful time visiting with you folks, hearing all those great performers again. But it's time to go, so everybody enter the car. Hey, someone get Homer. I got him. Who's going to take the hand? I'll get it, Mom. This is Eddie Arnold. And Ed Hurley. So So long, long, folks. So So long, long, everybody. Kraft Family Reunion was produced by Elliot Drake and Charles Garment. Creative consultant, Warren Hogan. Technical supervision, Arnold Sider. Special effects, Sam Monroe. Production assistant, Tara Kehoe. Kraft, bringing good food and families together. Let's go! Just one more thing. This has been a production of the NBC Radio Network. Are you struggling to conceive? You have options, and at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group, we'll make sure you have the guidance and support you need. Preg is known for individualized fertility care that's unique to every patient. We take the time to provide a reassuring and empowering experience because we believe that you deserve nothing less. Let us help you on your journey to parenthood. Visit us at pregonline.com to learn more. Get the guidance and support you need at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. 
More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids' PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.